You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. I... <laughs> I... Seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home. Consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. Keep saying our. Who the fuck is he talking about? I thought it was gonna be only him, but is there more of him? Does he have like conscious of others? What the fuck? Is that the music or is that someone making that noise? extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. for this boon would prove heavy. A 
pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. If it was magic that caused the blight, what of the mother crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. So you're telling me magic caused the blight? So you're telling me Barris is the one who caused the blight? Ah, don't you dare tell me the mother crystals are like uh, trying to help the world, all that bullshit. Trying to calm down the blight or take it away. Now you're telling us that the, the fucking emperor is right to uh, like slave the bearers. Don't you fucking dare tell me that. Fuck, I want to know already. Tell me. I want to know the answer. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off, thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ there was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, and where, if we only forfeit our wills, and abandon everything we hold dear. Humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. No more. He hasn't told me about the mother crystal. Oh, what the fuck? I thought I was gonna fight like enemies, but fuck. Where the fuck are we? Are we inside the mother crystal? To forge a new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. 
and our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his God's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource and the land she wept tears of black. He would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind. Just... unwilling to admit the truth. But we're one and the same. Motherfucker created us? He created the human race? But I wanna know who, who created the icons. Did we or he did? Were the icons made in like, oh, like, like jailers or something? Or like security guards to watch over us, all that bullshit? Who, who the fuck created icons? wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so 
much vexation. Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. Shit. Not this shit again. That just jump. <laughs> Torgo. Fucking up so hard. Yeah. <laughs> 
piece of shit.
fuck? I'm using all this fucking powerful moves, fucking shit. Holy shit, oh shit. Fuck! Why the fuck I almost kill me? There I go, the pull of darkness. Oh my god. Fuck this son of a bitch. Want to end humanity because we don't follow him no more? Or he can't control us? Fuck him. Ah. Oh. Fucking emo son of a bitch. At last, for countless generations, have we awaited this moment. Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven.
Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Somebody save me! Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away? None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother? Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched. And the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest 
by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place, eh? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering. Oh. 